And a beyond. A Latin theme is the backdrop. Richard, what a fantastic matchup we have at the center position tonight. Two of the best in the NBA. It feels like a gladiator fight when two centers go at it. I expect it to be physical right from the start. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of foul trouble. That's always a big story in games like this. Look at the 76ers starting group. Melton is in at shooting guard. Harris is the small forward. Robert Covington out there with Joel Embiid. And it's Maxi in at the point. And contact on the shot, so he'll... shooting free throws here and they're great at both ends but the Sixers offense Greg the Sixers offense is elite and it all starts with Joel Embiid feasting inside and at the free throw line and his teammates reap the benefits as well with wide open shots on the perimeter and the dunk by Embiid smart pass from the quick thinking Maxi, outstanding at finding uncovered teammates Now, here is Russell. Vanderbilt, a screen on Maxi. Russell, off to a good start as he gets his first shot attempt. And then once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here's Maxi. Melton passes to Maxi. A shake. And the layup is good. Continuing to work. No give from Maxi, even amongst the bigs. Russell with it. Maxi covering. Lakers passing it around. Davis setting the pick for Russell. Passes it to Reeves. Lock at six to the middle. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Here's Embiid, and he finishes nicely on the lane. This is why they feed Embiid. His teammates trust his ability to get the job done. Now Russell. Outside for Davis from downtown. Maxi grabs the miss. The 76ers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Here's Embiid. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three here to start out the game. Kicks it out to LeBron. Vanderbilt, a screen on Covington. The drive by James. Basket counts. And the total package, James, is so much fun to watch. Now the 76ers with it. Trailing by two. And hey Richard, when you played with LeBron in 2017, did, did you think he'd still be elite all these years later? That man has had a two-decade long prime, Greg. I have no idea how much longer this guy's going to be able to do it. But with LeBron, it's just different. His longevity is special. Here's MB after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Embiid sets the big for Maxi. The three. And Davis pulls it down. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. No good there. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. First team foul. Lakers on D. Pass to Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. Defense looks helpless against Embiid on that slam. He's just too physical. Here's Russell. 
out the basket. Russell's got six. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And Davis sends it back. Too much this, too much that, too much length. How many deeds get that out of here? Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Now, here's Maxi. With the drive, rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. To the inside, Vanderbilt. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Here's Maxi. The best to Embiid. The 76ers with another miss. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. Pass to LeBron. Takes it off the glass. Six points for him. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Harris kicks to Maxi. On the wing, melt. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by Davis. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. And the rejection by Embiid. Yeah, defensively, Embiid can take over a game with his reach. Big block from him there. Here's Russell. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And that does it for the first quarter. Los Angeles on top, leading by eight. And the second quarter will get underway just after... And we welcome you back to our special Noche Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? Oh boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high percentage looks. The wing pairing reads with LeBron. Vanderbilt and Davis man the post box. And it's Russell in at the one. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Embiid, no good. Los Angeles leading by 10. Passes it to Reeves. Drops in the layup for two. And that's the thing. That's why he's going to be top five all time in assists. LeBron James just drops dimes. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. The 76ers trail by 12. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. Melton finds Maxi. Clock at four. Driving in and slam dunk by Maxi. And Maxi is just terrific on the drive. His speed and ability to finish is different in so many ways. Russell with a wide open look. LeBron dishes to Davis. And Davis throws it down. Oh, oh, oh. Inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And now we've got the intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by that bucket in in no time at all. Melton's got to back down to single digits for the 76ers. James, a screen on Maxi. Outside, Davis. Covington against LeBron. Back to Davis. Davis setting the pick for James. Shot, high post, and Davis gets it to go on the assist by LeBron. For a big man, Davis can really finesse it. Out to Harris. 
pass to Melton. He dishes it to Embiid. Assertive move by Embiid. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. He got for us, D.A. Yeah, thanks very much. LeBron James still has a singular focus. He says, I'm a winner and I want to win. Competing for championships has been my goal since I entered the league. Once you know how to get there, playing basketball at this level, just be playing basketball, is not my DNA anymore. Kevin, he certainly has that special sauce. He is letting it be known in championship medal to boot. David, thank you. MB powers it down. The team just loves to see MB fired up on offense like this. They really rely on his scoring ability. And with Melton out there, they've got someone who can contribute on both ends. Yeah, he does a lot of little things for them. He gets steals, assists, rebounds whenever he's on the floor. You'll see his influence all over the statue. Break. There's 154 left in the first half of basketball. Shot clock at six. Harris a screen. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. In the mold of Shaq, Joel Embiid is physically just overwhelming. Plus, he's got some touch and skill. The 76ers shooting their first foul shot of the game. And when you look at the moves that Embiid has in the mid-range, he moves like a guard out there. He studies film of Kobe and Jordan. Love. It shows up when you watch his football. It's amazing to see someone his size move so fluid. Don't underestimate Davis. He is a versatile scorer who can shoot from just about anywhere. Maxi with it. He's picked up by James. Embiid, no good. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't. And here we go. Coach's challenge happening right now. This one in regards to the personal foul. Seeing that that was the right call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, the previous play is that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively. And after the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. And that one drops for him. James has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's Embiid. Kicks it out to Maxi. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Maxie's got four points this quarter. He was just too focused on the hoop. I'm not even sure Maxi felt the defender. Davis with a screen on Covington. High post, Davis. Here's Reeves. Takes it inside. He feeds it to Davis. Here's LeBron. LeBron powering inside. When we watch James still play at this level, it's crazy to think that he joined the league in 2003. The shot and game clock separated by four. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis is the touch it last. Tries a three off the inbound. The putback. Tough break there. Shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. James looking it over. He kicks it to Russell. Fires from deep. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Looking at a... Th I thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three.
And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Joel. Owen Bede has been sensational. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside or did coach have some new ideas for them? And on the floor for Nick Nurse as we get into the second half. They've got Lowry, Kelly Oubre out there with Batum, and there's Mohamed Bamba. And it's healed in at the shooting guard position. Oubre passes to Lowry. Kicks it to Bamba. Back to Lowry. Healed outside. Pocket six. Over Vincent. Healed. Can't hit. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. And, Greg, while the Sixers have been effect time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinal where they bowed out in five of the last six years. But when you go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals back in 01. To the paint. Here's Bamba. And the jump by Bamba. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. There's the pass to Hachimura. And Hayes gets to Dinwiddie. to the hoop and he goes in for the jump just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal and that finish shows you how dangerous he can be as a passer and a finisher here's Lowry and the layup falls you know this guy just brings such heart and passion to the court Lowry just doesn't let a little contact stop him from scoring Dinwiddie kicks to Hachimura. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Here's Hayes. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Hayes has got his first points in this one. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. And, and how about the nine foot six standing reach Bamba has? I mean. It's unguardable. This close dunks it with such ease. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. But beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But on this occasion, he got caught. Los Angeles making a switch here. Woods check in. Los Angeles leading by 13. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. From the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time, and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. RJ, so much goes into extending an NBA playing career. What was the key for you in your long career? Well, for me, physically, I had to start doing more things away from the game of basketball. Doing yoga, doing straight training, but also the changes mentally. I went from a 20-point-a-game scorer to a guy that was getting three or four shots a game. You have to be able to accept your role and then star in your role. And for me, I just love doing that. Hayes, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Healed outside. Hits it from three-point range. Heald's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Hachimura. Hachimura with a screen on Oubre. And the dunk by Prince. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. One thing, Greg, you notice about Torian Prince, he can play anywhere against anyone. 
and he's a versatile player who gives you just a ton of effort. Brock Prince into any lineup, any scheme, and he's going to find a way to affect the game. Dinwood kicks to Prince. Hayes with the screen for Prince. To the middle, Oubre with the steal. Now the 76ers on the break. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Able to complete the play, but he's showing some strength physically and mentally. And the Lakers making a change here. Woods checked in. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Wood with the screen for Dinwiddie. Passes it to Wood. Hachimura against Batum. Here's Prince. Dinwiddie outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Hachimura setting the pick for Dinwiddie. And here's Wood outside. And Pamba with the block. The main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. And the 76ers call time here. Seventeen seconds left to play here in the third. Maxi kicks to MB. Back to Maxi. A crossover, driving the lane, and it's good on the way in. Maxi's got eight points. Sometimes you just gotta look away, man. I felt that move from Maxi. The putback. No good on the last second attempt there. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. In at small and power forward, it's LeBron and Vanderbilt. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Davis at the center filling out the middle. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Heald kicks to Embiid. Six on the shot clock, and now they decide to foul intentionally. His fourth personal foul, second team foul. Maxi looking it over. Another three for Philadelphia. And for Remeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Team putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thanks, guys. During that break, Coach Darvin Ham talked to his team. Now he wants his team to stop playing it safe. He said, we've got this lead by doing what we do, and we can keep it if we don't get too cautious. Play our game. Kevin? Thanks, David. Heald kicks to MB. Back to Heald. MB the screen. Five to shoot. Another three for Philadelphia. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. And it's so much easier said than done. But now it's all about keeping that momentum going for them. Pass to Davis. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Oh, the response. AD might be a quiet guy off the court. But on the floor, he is an absolute killer. Kicks it out to Maxi. First minute and a half of basketball play here in the fourth quarter. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Davis has the open look. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. And the Lakers lead by four. Uh-oh, everything is going AD's way. He is in that zone and scoring at a terrific pace. Outside, Maxi. That 
in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And he's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Here is Davis. He kicks to LeBron. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. Just lost his head out there. It'll happen if you're pushing a little too hard. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. A two-point game. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Davis wants the ball in these big moments, and his ability to deliver is what makes him a special player. And the 76ers call time here. The 76ers trail by four. Left side, Maxi. Russell against Heald. Gets the bucket and the foul. Russell, and so he's picked up his final foul. He will sit for the rest of this game. Vincent's checked in for D'Angelo Russell. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. Oh, they've been punishing the inside defense consistently in this one. Look, it's been a very productive area of the floor for them. And during this game, they sliced the D apart by just attacking the rim. A flat out dominating them inside. In what he's checked in for Vincent. It's easy to see why his teammates trust him. He's a leader on this team and loves coming up huge in the clutch. Here's Reeves, covered by Heel. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. Green by James. Reeves. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. So it gets them both, and it's a three-point game. And this is how you execute. Creating any type of separation is huge right now. Outside, Maxi trying to get over his heel. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Attacking in a big moment. Maxi is not holding back. LeBron with a screen on heel. And the pass to Davis. And he can't jam it through. Well, I'll give him an A for effort for trying to dunk through the defense, but maybe he should ease up on that one just a little bit. To take the lead, Heald with the bucket. This is why you turn to Heald. What a huge moment for him there. Dreams outside. Icy ice. He has absolute ice in his veins. This guy, he lives for these moments. Healed sets the pick for Maxi. Healed outside. Back to Maxi. And B with a screen on Dinwiddie. Six to shoot. Maxi. It doesn't go for him. Dinwiddie with some nice D. They can more or less wrap it up right here. This has to be a very smart possession. Here's LeBron. Got it. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Embiid against Davis. Inside Maxi. Solid at the line. We'll see if the late game pressure affects Maxi. Back to the second personal foul. The fourth team foul. At the line for the second. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. 
That's good, going one of two from the line, and that narrows the lead down to just three. If he hits all of those, they're feeling a lot more comfortable. But now, still a one-possession game. Well, yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. And we've seen LeBron come up clutch in so many moments. He loves this time. Outside, Maxi. Here's the screen. Healed outside. From deep three-point land. It's off. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. It was up for great. All right, D.A., thanks again. And that about wraps it up.
Grant, both defenses will have their work cut out for them here against these two high-powered offenses. Get your popcorn ready. There should be a ton of scoring, but I'm also looking to see which team can bring the most intensity on defense. In the end, that will be the deciding factor in this one. Now let's take a look at the Bucks' opening lineup. Giannis and Portis work together inside. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the point guard position. Now here's Lillard. Lillard, double team. Down low. Out to Beasley. Lillard outside. On the take. Anadokounmpo outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Portis. Stolen by Davis. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Here's Vanderbilt. Who poked away. To the inside. And finished off by Davis. So good at reading the defenses. James anticipating when they overcommitted. Middleton outside. Portis with a screen on Vanderbilt. Middleton attacking. On to Kumpo for three. The offensive rebound. Portis, and he gets that one. Love the pop in Portis's game right now. Superb job hitting the offensive glass. Russell with the ball. And he drives in. Lays it up and banks it in. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Portis. Now Lillard. Just five to shoot. And he buries his first look. And what a burst from Damian Lillard that time, just seeing that gap and getting ahead of the defense. Kind of amazing that Lillard wasn't a big-time prospect at a high school print. Well, size had a lot to do with that, B.A., and then Damian Lillard, it's, it's hard to scout Will, and he certainly has loads of that. Not many guys have a feel for the game like Dame does. And so it's Milwaukee with it. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago, here's Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Nice find by Lillard. He deserves some recognition for that kind of passing. Pass to Vanderbilt. Davis with a screen on Lillard. It's Reeves with the drive. Rejected by Antetokounmpo. And so the ball out of bounds. Antetokounmpo touched it last. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. There's Davis with the three. Fires in the triple. Davis has got five. Confident shot from AD committing to taking that jumper. Lillard outside. Honor to Kumpo. The pass to Lillard. And there's a pick. Now here's Middleton. And they double up Middleton. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Russell against Beasley. Reeves the pass to Russell. And, yep, it's good. Russell's gotten his second bucket of the game. Russell's such a natural scorer and capable of connecting just about anywhere. The shot that time, not on target. Good work defensively by James. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by Beasley. 
Reeves, the pass to Jane. Perfect night so far, two for two. Just can't give LeBron any opening. If you do, you're torched. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. He gets it in there. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. Now here's Lillard. He's closely guarded. Another reminder that Damian Lillard can be explosive, and we love it. The Lakers in the lead. Russell deciding where to go with it. On the wing, Reeves. Russell a screen on Lillard. Back to Russell. Davis, the pass to Russell. Six on the shot clock. Here's Reeves. Rebound, Milwaukee. 26 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Inside, here's Anadokounmpo. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. And so much strength and quickness coming from Giannis. Beasley against Russell. Into the lane. Blocked! So, at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Lakers ahead. They lead by three. And we'll be back shortly. Some good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. The most consistent attack on offense so far has been the mid-range jump shot. We'll see if they can keep that rolling. Now getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. Taking a look at the Bucks, the heavyweights for this team. Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Portis in at the center. And stolen by Beasley. Well, the instincts on defense on full display there it was a gamble for sure, but it paid off big time in the form of a steal. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. LeBron James is sustaining greatness into his late 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it, LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Allie. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Or a good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Portis finds on to Kumpo. Oh, got a piece of it. And here's Beasley. Five to shoot. Hey, puts up a three. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense, given the situation. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Russell against Beasley. Russell, that's good. Russell's got eight. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Lillard right side. Let's it go from deep. Yes, sir. You can count on Dave from deep. And that's been Lillard's forte ever since breaking into the lead. Easily against Russell. And there's James on the assist by Russell. He's got six. And Grant, you talked about it. Early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure is real. And it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. Beasley has to honor the Kumpo. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, not only being just an all-around more improved player, Giannis has taken some 
huge strides in terms of building his body up. Well, Brent, when you talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo, still one of the league's elite players. Unbelievable, B.A., the way he started off his career. You felt like there was an end to his improvement. That hasn't been the case. Just a strong work ethic, his desire to compete every day that he's in the gym, and the guy keeps getting better. That's scary. And bigs like Portis can get up and make those dunks look sweet. Here's Vanderbilt, and Vanderbilt slams it in. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Pass to Middleton. Anadokounmpo, right side. Oh, look at Giannis power in. So. Hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. Russell finds James. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. James has got four points in the quarter. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo, and it's blocked by Davis. Impactful defensive presence. AD is outstanding at coming up with blocks. Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim, that's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Beasley outside. Up and over Russell. Kicks it out to Middleton. Honor to Kumpo, the pass to Beasley. From outside the arc. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. For Los Angeles, they've gone an outstanding 7-7 seven of seven so far in the second quarter. Pass to Vanderbilt to the left side wing. This James on the wing. Give him eight points now. And stolen by Honor to Kumpo. Middleton outside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's on LeBron James. Middleton kept working and working, did not quit on the play, and that forced the defense into a foul. You know, when you look at Chris Middleton, Brent, he's been a competitor every way you slice it. No doubt worked himself into a multiple-time All-Star in the Eastern Conference and one of the most consistent small forwards in the league. Also an NBA champ. I just hope his health can hold out B.A. Outside Vanderbilt. Here's James. No good with the elbow jumper. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Screen by Adonacumpo. Here's Lillard. Oh, Lillard just owning the paint. Now Lillard's one of the smaller point guards in the league, but amongst traffic, he's willing to go in and challenge and tough one there as he gets creative. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Lakers ahead, up by three. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Wow, Damian Lillard really having a great game. Yeah, he plays such a smart first half, maximizing his opportunities offensively. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. They've got Rui Achimura. He's out there with Prince. Gabe Vincent out there with Hayes. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. The Lakers in the lead. Hachimura outside. Now here's Dinwiddie. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Who doesn't love to see David take on Goliath? Their huge throwdown. Green with a screen on Dinwiddie. Beverly laid it in with a nice touch off the window. 
Yeah, kind of tough on the defense when you let Beverly beat you on the inside. That can get his confidence going from the outside. So damage from the paint that time. Then when he passes to Prince. The three is up. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line. And they're not happy with the call here. Coach has given the signal. He's going to use his challenge. Probably a good idea in such a close contest. People will work calls in every game the NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019 you know one thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back if they're adamant that the call was wrong he'll the ruling on the floor is confirmed and they've made their decision the call will stand and as much as it hurts to lose a challenge I think coach would challenge that call again if he could he really disagreed with the foul and he's still peeved And the first one at the line is good. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. And here's Dinwiddie. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Leading by five, Hayes finds Prince. Here's Dinwiddie, Beverly defending. Here's Hayes, and finished off by Hayes. He sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here, hanging up there like that. Beverly against Dinwiddie. Back to Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. And Jay Crowder moving it to the open man. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Heading to the court. The Lakers go. Let's make some Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Hayes with a screen on Beverly. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. They get it back. Second chance effort. Pass to Achimura. Back to Dinwiddie. And the layup falls. Dinwiddie's got four points in the quarter. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. Beverly outside. Uses the glass on the layup. He's attacking right now. Patrick Beverly just getting fired up. And his team is doing the same. Dinwiddie outside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Patrick Beverly. Good man. The defender really went after him. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success. And it's slammed in by Achimura. More and more signs of the skill set of Torian Prince as he finds an open teammate. Dinwiddie against Beverly. Outside, Green. Gallinari with a screen on Dinwiddie. Green finds Gallinari. Six to shoot. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. He goes up. And the finish on the break with the slam. And Achimura read that pass well. Active hands. Timeout call. Milwaukee. And it's a completely new group for the Lakers. Here's Lillard. He's got nine. A minute 50 left in the third quarter. To the middle. Picked his pocket. Here's James. Freight train coming. LeBron gets to the rim. All right. The coaches are going to ask you to stay in front of LeBron James, but seriously, you want to get in front of that? Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Can they get it? 
Driving to the basket. And Giannis with the jam. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. A minute 15 left in the third. And slam dunk by James. Incredible feel for the game. LeBron knows when it's his job to set the tone offensively. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got five assists in the game. Pass to James. Puts up a three. LeBron fires and hits a three. And we know LeBron has continued to work on his shot throughout his career. He's got to honor that three ball. Lillard with the ball. Now Vanderbilt defending. Middleton from the outside. Rebound by the Lakers. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Shots good by James. James has got nine points now in the second half. Adilo at that size has great court vision and a great pass. And here's Lillard. Nine points in the game. To the wing, right side. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Lillard. Five on the clock. Just three on the clock. And slam dunk by James. Still a force, LeBron looking ageless on that one. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. And don't go far. We'll be right back. There have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. 18 points separating these teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Giannis and Portis work together inside. Chris Middleton is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Crowder in at the three. Lillard finds Kumpo. And the jam by Kumpo. And the defense, you thought they were helpless before. Now Giannis is hot. The three from Russell. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got his fourth rebound in this one. For three, here's Lillard. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got four rebounds now. Vanderbilt, a screen on Lillard. To the paint. Portis with the steal. Lillard looking around. Fires the three. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Vanderbilt slams it in. Great teamwork and great time. Oh, spectacular play. Lillard right side. Crowder outside. It's stolen by James. Three-pointer. Anthony Davis. And that's good. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. Now, something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. I mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high-percentage looks getting out there on the fast break. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Crowder with a screen. 
Again, we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Kicks it out to Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Oh, man, nice jam for Middleton. The veteran swingman understands when to go after dunks like that. And there's James from the arc. Oh, he is cooking right now. 10 for 11 from the field. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Here's Crowder. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Crowder has done such a great job of carving out a career as being a tough and dependable defender. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From Wes to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. The Bucs have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Lillard passes to Middleton. Back to Lillard. And it's Middleton. That time on the assist by Lillard. Inside, Middleton so dangerous. Just a cunning scorer in the paint. A minute 53 left in the fourth quarter of this one. The shot by Russell, no good. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Get there, get there. Lillard outside. To the inside. Portis, and the shot goes down. And Portis understands his role in this offense, including when to look to score inside. Russell against Lillard. James deciding where to go with it. Inside. Davis. That's good. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Lakers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And one player just stole the show tonight doing everything for his team. A monster night for LeBron James. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. Honor to Kumpo, outside. Four on the clock. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, Brent, one area of the floor where the Bucks really shine is on defense. Yeah, no question. This defense is one that just smothers you, and if you're not ready for it, you know, they could come at you defensively in waves. They don't let you rebound. They pressure shooters. They're going to make you work for every bucket. Well, if you think that Giannis was going to stop working after he won a title, what do you think he's going to do in the years that they don't? This guy continues to be one of the hardest workers in the NBA. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Out of the Kumpo. That's good. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. James passes to Russell. Screen by James. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Out of the Kumpo surveys. And Davis with the block. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Thank you for joining us.
All fans, you. Got it on 2K Sports as we get set to... Clark, you played in the Eastern Conference throughout your career. You think there's a different mentality compared to the West? Mentality might not be the right word, but there was a level of pride that the Eastern Conference players took in being a more physical and defensive-minded conference. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. At small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Malik Beasley is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Portis in at the five, roaming the paint. You cannot let Dame get good looks, especially from the corner. To the middle. Harris against Middleton. Harris passes to Embiid. Back to Harris. Just five on the clock. Embiid is screen on Middleton. Here's Harris. They get the rebound. The kick out to Maxi. Covington against Honor Kumpo Down low. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. The size and strength of Embiid, he is absolutely mammoth. Really hard to deal with. You may need a couple of guys to box him out. Now here's Lillard. Portis outside. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And Ana de Kumpo, Kumpo with the stuff. Smart pass by Porter showing the ability to make good decisions with the ball. Well, Clark, in the 2023 playoffs, the Milwaukee Bucks got sent home in the first round. And in an eight versus one seed upset, we all thought they were set to make a deep playoff run. But injuries, untimely as they were, and the Heat had other plans. And the Bucks with the possession here. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Lillard looking around with the drive. Out to Beasley. To the inside. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now on Robert Covington. Well, that's just an assertive play by Giannis against tough defense, drawing a foul and still getting the shot off. Clark with his mix of power and length. At times, Giannis can seem unstoppable. You know what? Not often is it that one guy forces teams to reconsider their whole defensive game plan, but Giannis forces you to build the wall because you don't want him getting downhill or he'll make you suffer the consequences. Now here's Harris. Outside Covington over Middleton. Stymied by Middleton. Or the defensive hustle there by Middleton. Stretching out and getting his hand on that shot. 
excellent effort. Kicks it out to Ana Kumpo. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. Ana Kumpo's got five points. Well, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. And there is a whistle. That goes on Damian Lillard. That's his first foul. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Now here's Maxi. Embiid is screen on Lillard. Maxi finds Embiid. Sinks the tray. Seven points in the game. Well, you know, that's the kind of competitive spirit Embiid plays with. I mean, if you knock one down on him, he's looking for you the next trip down. Here's Ana de Kumpo. He's got five. And another three for Milwaukee. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Oh. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powered at home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Embiid. Outside heel. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. And I like whenever Hill attacks inside like this, exploiting the defense when they give him these chances. Here's Lillard. And the dunk by Lillard. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Three-pointer indeed. It's hauled in by Portis. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Giannis and Giannis throws it down. And Antetokounmpo is really an absolute terror in the open floor. I mean, love seeing a guy his side run the floor the way he does. Wow. Impressive. Now here's Covington. No point so far. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal It's going to be on Bobby Portis. First one falls for him. Well, he's an outstanding defender and a very capable shooter. Covington is an extremely valuable role player. That one falls. So he hits both of them. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Middleton with a screen on Maxi. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And he makes a first. It's amazing to come to the arena every night just to see what Lillard's going to do. Second free throw, no good. Philadelphia has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Embiid. Portis with the steal. Beasley outside from deep. And it's Portis. Bobby that time Portis. on the assist by Beasley. Hey, I think every team wants a guy like Bobby Portis. I mean, more than capable from deep. He's able to play the four and five. It gives you good effort at both ends. And so it's the... If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Milwaukee. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team, moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. Giannis and Portis work together inside. And it's Lillard in at the point. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. Now here's Middleton. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Six on the shot clock. Lillard, a screen on heel. Here's Beasley. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. 
And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Maxine. And I just love how he uses his lateral quickness to stay with his man. Lillard is a capable on-ball defender. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Oh, and then Cordes Assisted with the dunk. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. And Philadelphia calls time here. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of the season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Here's Covington. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago, Embiid passes to Covington. The three. Oh, look at the range. Joel is good for three. A focal point in this offense. Embiid has no hesitation shooting off the catch. Portis outside. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Lillard against Maxi. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Oh, the soft teardrop. Giannis. Brad, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. That makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. And Embiid throws it down. Nothing new for Embiid here, going off for a big scoring performance, par for the course. Here's Lillard. Some solid defense from Maxi. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Up top, Embiid. On an Akumpo covering. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Lillard, right side. And the shot's good. Damian Lillard. Lillard's got eight. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Oh, they get a hand on it. Left side, Maxi. Harris, a screen on Lillard. Maxi with it. Beasley covers. Launches a three. It's not going to go for him. And so it's Embiid who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Trailing by ten. To the middle. The kick out to Maxi. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Maxi's got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. And one of the more imposing guys at the center position, Joel Embiid. As unique a player as we've got in the league in terms of his size, just mammoth, and his agility and skill level. Is so special for a guy of his size. His production is absolutely crazy. Perennial MVP candidate now and perhaps for several years to come. The first free throw is good. And when it comes to Giannis Antetokounmpo, such a lovable player on and off the floor, Clark. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's just such a carefree, gregarious, outgoing personality. Somebody that doesn't take himself too seriously and he likes to tell his fair share of dad jokes too, which is pretty endearing. In transition, here they come. Trips down the breakaway slam. Beasley active and alert that time on defense and able to ignite the fast break. Here's Maxi. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Maxi's got five points now this quarter. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Maxi against Lillard. Kicks it out to Anna Kumpo. He tries the three. What a make. Giannis, Giannis for three. And this is three how points. he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Heels from outside. Rebound, Milwaukee. 16 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Portis gets the bucket. Hard not to love the energy Portis plays with. 
He's not letting inside contact stop him or derail him at all. Maxi against Beasley. Maxi passes to Heald. Embiid a screen on Beasley. Pass to Embiid. And we finished off one half of play. With the score. Bucks ahead. They lead by 14. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. 37. Put your hands together for your arena So far, it's been a runaway. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Kelly Oubre out there with Nicholas Batum. Then it's Kyle Lowry. Then it's Mo Bamba. And it's Melton in at the two. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. If you look back on Sixers history, the list of legendary big men is long. Exactly, yeah. and let me tell you this. Embiid's name is right there near the top of that list. You know, you think about the likes of Chamberlain, Moses Malone, those guys certainly on the list. Embiid joining them, that says a lot. Clock at four. And here's Crowder from the arc. The rebound by Bamba. Philadelphia has gone three of six from deep so far. Pass to Batum. Back to Oubre. Lowry against Crowder. Beverly with a steal. On the break. Green in the post. Melton covers. Offensive rebound. Back to Beverly. Green. A screen. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Beverly's got his first basket. And Beverly is a tricky player. I mean, somebody who has so many different shots to choose from. And let's swing it over to the side. Prospects like Victor Wembanyama enter the draft. Some teams and motivation to win can falter. And Commissioner Adam Silver said, "Quote: It's a serious issue, and we've put teams on notice." Brian, it sparked hundreds of league meetings, and Silver added, "We're always looking to see whether there's yet a better system." Back to you. Oh, indeed. Thanks, Alec. Five to shoot. Crowder got a piece of it. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense, given the situation. Into the third. Two minutes in now. To the paint. Protected by Lopez. You could see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and a terrific rejection as well. Gallinari with a screen on Lowry. Pass to Lopez. Beverly. Shot clock at six. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Timeout called. Milwaukee. In terms of players who've kept evolving, Clark, I mean, come on. How about Brock Lopez? Well, Brad, I love the fact that he never stopped improving his game. He folded three-point shooting into his arsenal, and he also became a much more active and intimidating rim protector. And here's Lowry from the arc. Knocks it down from distance. Lowry's got five points now this quarter. You know, Batum is not just a scorer. He's a really good all-around player. Very effective at finding the open man, too. The shot's good. Patrick Beverly. And the Bucks lead by 11. 
and the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's Lowry. He's got five. Here he goes. And he converts the layup. Lowry's got seven points. Relentless is a word to describe Lowry. He is a wrecking ball of a guard. Out left to the wing. And here's Lopez from the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Three. Boy, a big man with great touch from deep. Always a valuable commodity in today's game. Melton up top. Green covering. From behind the arc. The rebound by the Bucks. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Oh, and he got... And Coach doesn't like the call at all. He's opting to use his challenge. He wants the officials to look at the replay. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed. Previous play is under review. Gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've made their decision. The call the will stand. Not and as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peed. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Giannis Antetokounmpo comes in for Gallinari. Beasley's checked in for Green. And Lillard subbed in for Beverly. And you think about the value of continuity, Clark. A new coaching staff for these Bucks, but the roster has had plenty of time to develop chemistry. Well, I'll tell you what, Giannis is at the center of everything they do, B.A., including winning that championship. Not many conflicting personalities certainly helps, and these guys are well molded together. Now here's Lillard. Give him eight points now. Up top, Portis. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Giannis to the cover. Count it. Good. Giannis Kumpo has got 22. Another night we see Giannis at his best. This defense doesn't have a clue as to how to guard it. Out to Harris. <laughs> 41 seconds left in the third. Crowder with a steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. Get there, get there. Anadokounmpo against Harris. Foul. And now we've got an intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting from Milwaukee. And he knocks down the Giannis first one. The you really have to appreciate and respect Taking the spirit. Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness. Inside, they need this. And Harris throws it down. You know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Let's watch Dame here. And the dunk by Lillard. Well, the ability to knife inside and convert Lillard is fearless when it comes to attacking the basket. Pass to Embiid. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's his first personal foul. Second He's off on the first. You know, what I respect about Embiid, in addition to his tremendous skill and size, is his willingness to keep working on himself. He's already an elite talent, but if he sees any room for improvement, he'll go to work to make it happen. And he's going for the lob! Well, through three quarters of play, now double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. 
Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Giannis and Portis work together inside. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Crowder in at the small forward position. Harris outside. Screen by Embiid. Harris passes to Embiid. Up top, Maxi. Harris a screen on Lillard. Here's Maxi. And so he draws. And they stop the action here. They're using their coach's challenge to see if they can get this foul overturned. First and even with the coach's challenge in place, at the line for your Sixers, Tyrese Maxey. Even after the video Two review, shots. there's no doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second. After review, the ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeved. The Bucks making a switch here. Middleton's checked in. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Grant. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. On an Akumpo for three. Can't get it to go. Shooting eight for ten now. Heald passes to Covington. Out to Heald. For three. Giannis with the rebound. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for the Bucks. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Yes. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Assisted. Lillard's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Harris against Middleton. Covington passes to Harris. It's good. Harris solid at maintaining body control through the contact. Good focus. Milwaukee has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Anadokounmpo, right side. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. And that one's good. Well, Maxi continues improving as a facilitator. Finding these opportunities to get the ball moving. Pass to Middleton. Back to Lillard. The rebound by Maxi. Good offense squaring up against better D there. Got to appreciate that stop. The Bucks have gone 2 of 5 from the field in this final quarter. Portis with it. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. Out to Portis. Fires from deep. And another 3 for Milwaukee. This speaks to how assertive Portis is. And he's skilled at knocking it down off the catch, too. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Portis. You take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect it. Beasley against Heal. Got it. And a little contact never stops Heal. A committed scorer who knows how to keep his balance on his shot. Two minutes for Middleton with a screen on Maxi. Kicks it out to Ana de Kumpo. No good from outside. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Heal passes to Harris. Covington, a screen on Middleton. Outside Maxi. Clock at six. Going inside. Beyond his wingspan, Giannis's timing is what makes him a special shot blocker. Pass to Middleton. To the paint. And the Giannis jam by Anadokounmpo. And the distance between the point totals Chris for these Middleton. teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Bucks. And the huge difference today, the efficiency from beyond the arc. Yeah, once they started hitting shots, it stretched out the D and opened up the entire offense. 
And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Anytime they needed a bucket, they put the ball in his hands and say, go make a play. It was impressive to watch. And Maxi, the bucket on the assist by Heal. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency. Huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Shot is up. And Lillard gets it to go. And the Bucks lead by 15. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get road kill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. Watch out now, when this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. And that'll be Milwaukee's ball as it goes out of bounds. Bucks able to keep the possession. Milwaukee ball! Portis outside. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. For three, here's Lillard. He buries it from three. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. That's Allie, amazing. thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. Fans.
Coming up, great to have you with us. Hi, everyone. And Greg, these are two of the more stacked teams when you look at their depth. Sometimes that can be a challenge for a coaching staff. No doubt about it. Anytime you've got to divvy up minutes, somebody's going to be unhappy. But you need a deep roster if you want to contend. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Vanderbilt and Davis man the post box. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. And it's LeBron in at the three. MB wide open. And it's off from three-point range. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Davis with a screen on heel. And he drives in to the left side wing. Inside. And it's Davis with the jam. And let's not forget about his athleticism. Dominant above the rim. Davis knows how to use his size to his advantage. Pass to heel. Embiid sets the pick for heel. Embiid kicks to heel. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. And it's Davis with the jam. This from Boy, I tell you, that's a free train coming down the tracks right there. You don't want to mess with AD when he's on the move like that. And Richard, with D'Angelo Russell, he's a guy who can do just about anything in the backcourt. That's right, Kev. If you need him to be a true floor general, he can do that in spurts. And if you need him to be a score-first offensive catalyst, that's his sweet spot. Here's Maxi. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch lead. Love the patience from Covington. Let's the situation develop and then delivers a perfect strike. Heel kicks to Maxi. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Pass to Heel. Back to Embiid. And Davis sends it back. Too much this, too much that, too much length from AD. Get that out of here. Defensive I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he That's plays the game from this team. Foul. Lakers shooting their first, first free throw this game. Foul. Shooting for Los Angeles, Austin Reeves at the line for one. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Covington a screen on Russell. Healed against Russell. Healed, can't hit. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Davis with a screen on heel. Outside for Davis. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Vanderbilt setting the pick for Russell. Down low and stolen by Harris. That is how you deny entry. Great effort. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. Reeves the pass to LeBron. Over to the left wing. Davis finds Vanderbilt. There's Russell with the three. That's in, and he yeah. found his range with that one. Now one for two. Oh, my man, way beyond the arc. Two Angelo, two snatch. Now as long as the Lakers have a healthy Anthony Davis, RJ, they will be a factor, won't they? Yes, this is why they traded so much to New Orleans to get him, Kev. AD is a top five guy in the league when he is healthy. Davis can dominate on both ends, and it is rare to see that. They get the rebound. Outside for Davis. 
Russell looking around. Back to Davis. Five on the clock. They shoot again. And it's finished off by Gary Vanderbilt as he lays it in. I love Davis's ability to read the floor. He's improving his ability to create for others. Heald sets the pick for Maxi. Heald outside. Embiid is at the elbow. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Now the Lakers on the break. Here's Davis, and Davis throws it down. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. The 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And it's Maxi with the ball for Philadelphia. Trailing by 10. And there's the pass to Heald. Back to Maxi. Heald sets the pick for Maxi. And the basket is good. Maxi's got six. How about the agility of Maxi there? Just looking around the defense. Vanderbilt a screen on Maxi. Here's Russell. And the layup is good. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Yeah, they haven't appeared in a rush at all. They are just playing to their strengths and building this lead out well. Outside, Maxi Passes it to Heald. Pocket six. Teardrop shot. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Maxi. to Davis. Can't get it to fall. Fantastic defense giving full effort. And so it's Los Angeles going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their defense has been active. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Lakers here so far, guys. Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter, at the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, Vanderbilt and Davis man the post spots. And it's LeBron in at the small forward. Reeves can't hit. The 76ers trail by eight. Covington kicks to Harris. And he's good on the three ball. With quick hands that time, Harris with the catch and shoot. LeBron sets the screen for Russell. Pass to LeBron. Vanderbilt a screen on Covington. LeBron gathering speed. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. First Richard, you've got one of the great personalities in this game. Did, did humor serve you well during your playing days? Yes, I would say it was. Because most of the time, I was talking more trash to my teammates than to the other team. But that's just been my personality since I was a kid. Harris looking it over. Here's MB. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot too. And That's Richard with Joel and B, his combination of physical dominance and skill, it's almost unfair. Yeah, he's a 300-pound guy with the agility of a wing. That is not fun to guard. He can bully you or beat you with finesse. There's really no weakness in his game, Greg. A scoring machine. There's just no shot and beads and afraid to take. Russell passes to Davis. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Davis has got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Kicks it to James. Davis with a screen on Harris. LeBron against Harris. Pass to Reed left to the wing. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And Davis can't get it to go. 
Philadelphia's gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter. Wow. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen. Triggering a review of the personal foul. Second team foul. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The previous play is under review. Review so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now the challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for the ruling on the floor stands and so the word is in they've decided the that the call stands as it was made on the floor and you know even if the coach still feels this put the right call and you gotta acknowledge the effort being put in to review it the double checking and the game continues on And MV drops them both. Lakers leading by eight. Out to the right wing. Here's Reeves. Good, and it's Russell picking Austin up the Reeves. assist. Three. Russell's got his fourth assist in this one. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Harris kicks to MV. D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first and the next one foul. puts him in the bonus. 13 foul. Philadelphia with the ball. And here's Covington from the arc. And it's Russell with the rebound. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. And that one's good. Russell. Three points. Good form on the jump shot. Russell's ability to stretch the floor makes him even more valuable. Harris setting the pick for Maxi. Banked in off the glass. Maxi's got 10 points in the game. Plays the pick to perfection. He got all the way to the rim. Maxi against Russell. And the dunk by James. This is classic LeBron leaping off the floor for a powerful dunk. Harris a screen on Davis. Embiid from outside. And James pulls it down. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And here's Heald. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. It's a 14-point game. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. And there's the feed to Davis. The shot's good. And that's 11 points for Anthony Davis. Great work by Davis in the screen roll. Good at making himself a big target in these situations. Maxi looking it over. And Bede in the corner. Assertive move by Embiid. The footwork, the patience, watching Embiid go to work inside is just a treat. LeBron a screen on Maxi. A drive by Russell. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Maxi passes to heel. Another shot over to the wing. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. He gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. That's fine. You love the effort. Not making things easy for the opposition on offense. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Outside, Davis. The three-pointer, no good. Now, Maxi, and that one clearly a foul. Hits the whistle, and two shots coming up. What's on LeBron James? And Maxi keeps defenders guessing, which is why they sometimes overcommit like this. He hits both from the strike. Now, he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Here's Davis. Perennial defensive player of the year candidate. Indeed, it's just so dominant on this end. 
And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We'll get right back to the action when we return. too much drama in the first half but maybe things will tighten up here in the second you look at Tyrese Maxey in this one guys he has been everywhere and how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters he has been terrific he always wants to be a go-to guy for them I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half Batum is out there with Oubre then there's Lowry then it's DeAnthony Melton and it's Bamba in at the five spot. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Kicks it out to Prince. Down to five on the shot clock. Hayes. My shot's good on the assist by Prince. Hayes has got his first two points of the night. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Oubre sets the screen for Batum. Count that bucket. And a high percentage look there is what Batum was after. He, he goes inside and makes it happen. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. And it's Prince penetrating. He feeds it to Hayes. Dinwiddie outside. Hayes with the screen for Dinwiddie. Carries it from three-point range. Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got his first three points of the game. When he has that much space, he's a pretty good bet to nail the three. Lowry finds Bamba. A three. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Lowry. I love the response from Lowry. When you drain a three on him, this guy's coming right back at you. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. This Lakers franchise, of course, has a lot of championships, but they know that nothing's given. Coach Darvin Ham said that that ring and them banners don't come if you ain't on your thing. You've got to be focused and make every day count. We're talking about championship, championship. At some point, the lip service gets old. You've got to go do it. Kevin, back to you. Got to go do it. He's all about Enter action. David, you. thank you. Assistant Just an outstanding distribution. Game. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Melton sets a screen for Oubre. That three off the mark. Lakers leading by 14. Prince, that's for two. The pass to Hayes. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes away. I tell you what, he's showing some real courage going to the reverse in that situation. You know, I, I don't think he knows you're not supposed to do that in traffic. <laughs> Bamba setting the pick for Lowry. Back to Bamba. And the foul is called. They intentionally grabbed him there for Lakers some reason. Foul. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that's that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right that. That's a stretch, though. Definitely Lakers a strange move on his part. Wood, he's checked in for the Lakers. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Pass to Hachimura. There's the drive and a missed late. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often times than not. With that sixth overall pick in 2018, no Bamba hasn't been a star, but is there some untapped potential? I think so. You've got a shot blocker who can also space the floor from beyond the arc. That's a pretty good foundation to build on, Greg. Wood kicks to Hachimura. Back to Wood. Pass to Dinwiddie. Wood with the screen for Dinwiddie. And a wide open look for Hachimura. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And we know Hachimura has a confident personality. You see it there with the rise and fire approach. Nice. 
Good on the bucket. Batum's got six here in this quarter. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Hachimura, the pass to Wood. Prince again to break. And the dunk by Prince. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stop. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot, but when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better, he'll take it. Here's Lowry. Oubre dishes to Lowry. Fires from 18. Oubre can't get it to go. And Prince has got the ball here for the Lakers. Hachimura with a screen on Lowry. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. And again, it's the Lakers Enter from deep. Dinwiddie. It works well there. Three. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Bomba wide open. Oh, and he just knocked out the buzzer. The score. The score. Ringing the Your bell. That's the way to close 37. the quarter. He knew exactly Lakers. how he wanted to do it, too. There was no doubt in his mind that it was going to fall. And so it's Los Angeles with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the mic. He'll be proud of that one. Big the when their passing skills are noticed. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. During the last time out, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort gang rebounding, everyone involved. Austin that was his Reed. only focus. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Taking a look at the Lakers. In at small and powerful is LeBron and Vanderbilt. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Davis at center. Davis with a screen on Maxi. Here's Russell and Embiid with the block. Love to see Embiid swatting down shots, Love taking advantage of his size and frame. Jared and they go to the intentional foul. That's You're not sure what that foul. was about. I mean, talk First about a break round. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Another three for three. Philadelphia. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Davis with a screen on heel. Lakers foul. Austin Reeves. That's his first personal foul. The 76ers trail by 12. Here's Maxi. He gets that one. Maxi's got five points now in the quarter. Watch out when Maxi finds his groove like this. He'll just keep coming at you and at you. Outside for Davis. And B with the steal. Healed left side. Embiid with a screen on Russell. Healed the pass to Embiid. Embiid powers it down. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up, and now we have a game. Los Angeles calls timeout. Looks like it's T-shirt time, fans. Who won the shirt? Get loud for your 76ers ENT. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Up top, Russell. The three from Davis. And again, the Lakers, no good. Philadelphia with the ball. Right now, the 9 0 run. Heel finds MB. For three. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, they're getting stopped. And they're attacking on the offensive. All the momentum seems to be running in their favor. They're close to taking the lead. LeBron with a screen on Maxi. Russell passes to Davis. Here's Reeves. Just five to shoot. A three ball. Nailed from three-point land. 
Reeves. Reeves has got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Lakers. Embiid kicks to Covington. That's in, coming off the assist from Embiid. Oh, beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. The thing they have to watch for is mental fatigue. They have to stay focused and finish the job. Heald right side. Got it, and the Laker lead has been cut down to three on the bucket from Joel Embiid. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers for the hustle stats for the 76ers. Gary, they've been defending with excellent anticipation all game long. Just look at how many times they've managed to get their hands on the ball. And not just that, they're also forcing turnovers at a high rate and taking advantage in transition. Puts the move on, and Maxi puts it in. Maxi's got 19 points. Attacking in a big moment. Maxi is not holding back. Davis in the corner. Let's it go with the three. It's good. And it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. His court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense. Beautiful. Count that one. You got to love those relentless fire on the court, especially when it's dual die time. Here's Reeves, guarded by Harris. Pass to Vanderbilt. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter. Good D by Embiid. Maxi kicks to Embiid. Just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and is determined to deliver. Russell against Maxi. Russell passes to LeBron. No good on the shot. Good D by Covington. Russell against Maxi. And we have an intentional foul there, GA. Yeah. Yeah. That's that pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Maxi on the wing. They kick out to heel. Embiid sets the pick for heel. Into the lane. And Embiid is right there. Embiid's got it all tied up now for the 76ers. And who else do you want in this situation? It's all about Embiid, and he's ready to carry that load. Russell against Maxi. Green by James. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Covington. James and Philadelphia calls time here. They're down by two. One second left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? And with under two seconds remaining, that they need something quick. Don't have time for an extra pass here, but they want to try for a three off the inbound play and go for the win. Definitely doable. Lakers substitution number twelve. Torian Prince. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. This win, That's such a tremendous... All right, David, thanks so much. Thank and you. that'll Once wrap it up, folks. Everyone.
Hi, Vaughn. Sports bringing you the end and the battle of the bigs tonight, Grant. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league, and right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. And the Lakers starting five. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. LeBron and Vanderbilt are the three and four. And it's Davis in at the five. Now here's Lillard. Drives to the hoop. And here's Crowder from the arc. Oh my! Came close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. First team foul. Crowder not afraid at any time of getting contact. And he can't hit the second. Well, Brent, when you think of the Bucks, it's hard not to remember their huge playoff disappointment in 2023. Man, pretty crushing, right, B.A.? You've got the number one seed. You're a team poised to get back to the finals with a chance to win the championship and get knocked out in the first round. What a terrific regular season they had, and no one expected them to go out so quickly. Here's Portis. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. And the jam by Adedekupo. Not much a defender can do against Giannis there. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Adedekupo with the block. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Now here's Russell. Five points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Davis. Out to the right wing. Portis with that trademark intensity getting right up on top of his man. James. And it's James with the jam. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Lillard outside. Screen by Otto Kumpo. Lillard can't get it to go. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. For the finish. Jerry and Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt slams it in. Austin that Reeves. was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Now here's Honor Kumpo. Count it. Honor Kumpo's got his second basket on the night. Oh, that contact's just really no problem for Giannis. He's just too broad and too strong to get shut down. Russell, the pass to James. Yep, that one goes. Just setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Middleton from the outside. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And you forget sometimes about how gifted Lillard is as a passing guard. You want him running your point. Russell, the pass to Davis. Back to Russell. 
Davis with a screen on Lillard. Russell from outside. The rebound by the Bucks. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Crowder, pass to Anacumpo. Back to Crowder. Down low. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And Giannis adding muscle to his frame for these types of situations. He'll keep getting bigger and stronger, but willing to take the hit. And that one misses. And so Davis will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Jared leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Screen by Kumpo. The score now all even. Yeah, keep thinking that he can't shoot it from there, and he'll prove you wrong. Lillard lofts one of those high-arching bombs. And a deep three from Russell. And they come right the back with their Russell. own three-pointer. Russell's got eight. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Personal foul. Team foul. Free throw good. Lillard. For his career, Damian Lillard, one of the best free throw shooters in the history of the league. And he gets there a lot, too. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Dang, that's good. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Milwaukee has gone two for three from outside the arc. Crowder with a screen. Here's Lillard. And the dunk by Lillard. Don't let the size fool you. Damian Lillard, he can get up there. Russell with the ball. Middleton covering. Russell the pass to Davis. And finished Anthony off by Davis. Davis. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Lillard outside. Takes it inside. And here's Crowder from the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. Just get yourself into the right spot, and Crowder waits for that one to knock it down. Russell deciding where to go with it. And slam dunk by James. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Now Lillard. He has seven. And another three for Milwaukee. And Lillard a flat-out gunner from deep because he's just a lethal shooter from the outside. Oh, LeBron with the slam! Yeah, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim, that time on display. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He put together 10 points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. In the early goings, their effort level has been exceptional. The speeding around the defense and opening up options with good penetration. They've done a great job tonight of getting out in transition. So that focus on fast break adds to your total in a hurry. Giannis and Portis work together inside. Chris Middleton is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Crowder in at the small forward position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Now here's Vanderbilt. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Vanderbilt's got six. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Russell against Lillard. Here's Reeves, still without a bucket. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. To the middle. Kicks it out to Middleton. 
Gets Middleton finishing it off. And Portis knows this system well. Try to make the good to great pass. Portis against James. Outside Vanderbilt. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Outside Davis. To the inside. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And let's talk about Kobe Bryant for a moment, Brent. You have a favorite Kobe story? Well, B.A., I miss him. And certainly love to compete against Kobe. We played the same position and enjoyed the battles with him. But I do remember one game in particular, and it happened to be a game that I wasn't playing and I was hurt. And we were in Los Angeles. It was in 2003. And it was the game where Kobe knocked down just a few three-pointers. When I say a few, I mean like 12. <laughs> He ended up with 45 points in that game. And I remember the game really wasn't close, but Phil kept him in the game just because of what it is we were witnessing and the type of threes that Kobe was knocking down in that game. And at the time, he had set the record with 12 made threes. I just remember the smile on his face, the command of the game, and him realizing, as so many times he had done before, that he was only the moment. Stride that you see from Giannis is just so effective out there getting around defenders. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. For the Lakers to be successful, Coach Darvin Ham said, quote, Anthony Davis is the key. None of this works if he's not available and hitting on all cylinders. We've all seen what can happen when he's healthy and playing at a high level. It's just a matter of managing his body. Brian? That's a good point. That's true for everybody, too. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Portis. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. And it's the Lakers on the break. And Vanderbilt slams it in. Well, the defense better make sure they're sticking to all four other players or else D'Angelo's going to find the open man. Lillard right side. A minute 50 left in the second period. Here's Ana de Kumpo. The shot won't fall. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. LeBron James. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Crowder with a screen. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Uncovered. Good. And it's yeah. Lillard who picks up the assist. Lillard's got his fifth assist in this one. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. Here's Reeves. And the layup is good off, off the Reeves. glass. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Kicks it out to Anna Kumpo. No good on the triple. The Lakers have gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Right side, Russell. Down low. Davis. And that one makes him two Anthony for two. Davis. He's in his rhythm. You could forget the jumpers right now, AD. Keep going inside, big fella. Honor to Kumpo. Outside. Another miss by Honor to Kumpo. The Lakers trail. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Back to James. Crowder with a steal. The smart play. Wait and take the final shot. Every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. There is no doubt what's going to happen once he reaches the rim. James, a screen on Lillard. Here's Russell. And he gets it to go. Russell's got 10 points in the game. Well, that's nice coordination as Russell seemed to know that he was going to get around the defense. Shot from 16. And at the buzzer! Count it! Just textbook! Kept his cool and waited for his shot. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Bucks. Back to the game after this break.
Here's who Darvin Ham is starting in the second half. They've got Rui Achimura. He's out there with Hayes. Gabe Vincent out there. Here with Prince, and it's Dinwiddie in a two-guard. Here's Bochamp. Gallinari with a screen on Prince. Outside Gallinari. Beverly outside. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. They get it again. Lopez finds Green. Gallinari with it. And Dinwiddie picks him up defensively. Two points. That one goes. He's showing some nice body control. Outstanding at keeping his composure and continuing the play at his speed is Gallinari. Hachimura with a screen on Beverly. Count it for Vincent. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. You know, after all these years, Fred, is it possible that Brooke Lopez is still getting better? This guy is going to be the study BA of some research papers in the future. How do you go from a post-up big man to a legitimate three-point threat in the arc of a career? He's been amazing. The Bucks have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Gallinari. Inside. And stolen by Hayes. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Hachimura. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. First team foul. Free throw no good for Hachimura. Hachimura being able to step out and shoot threes. That's huge for his development. Spencer Dinwiddie. First personal foul. First team foul. First free throw is good. And so he's able to get one of two. Los Angeles has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. And it's slammed in by Atsimura. More and more signs of the skill set of Torian Prince as he finds an open teammate. Beverly with it. Atsimura covering. Green, the pass to Gallinari. Green, a screen. And Gallinari throws it down. He sure can rise. Grab, that's as good as it gets. One of the best in the league. Hachimura, the pass to Prince. And down it goes. It through off a beautiful setup. And for Rui, that guy was wide open, so that's an easy delivery. Beverly outside. Outside Gallinari from the arc. 
Rebound, the Lakers. By himself, and it's slammed in by Hachimura. And you can see the agility from Rui Hachimura. Fantastic job just getting out and converting. Outside, Gallinari. To the paint. Here's Lopez. Banked it in off the glass. And the Bucks lead by six. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. To the middle. Here's Denwitty. No luck on that one. Good work defensively by Lopez. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Beverly on the wing. No points yet. Back to Lopez. Drops in the three. And it's a nine-point Bucks lead. Well, no hesitation whatsoever from Brooke Lopez at that rate. Vincent passes to Dinwiddie. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Second team foul. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them. They're locked in, and that outside shot going, it's a big difference maker. Beverly into the lane, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Hey, Beverly's got his first two points of the night. Yeah, Beverly doing a good job of reading not just his defender, but the secondary defender in that pick and roll. Incredible. It sometimes falls to the point guard to be the offensive catalyst. Seems like he always knows when his squad needs a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Left side, Green. And he banks in the layup. Green's got eight here in this quarter. Now he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. And here's Beverly. Outside for Green. Back to Beverly. The three ball. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We'll be back in a moment. This is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. The Lakers trail. Giannis and Portis work together inside. Damian Lillard out there with Chris Middleton. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, oh my. Throw that one up top. Oh, what a play. Incredible feel for the game. LeBron knows when it's his job to set the tone offensively. Inside. Kicks it out to Anna Kumpo. Back to Middleton. He shoots it. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And the Bucks lead by eight. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. And it's Lillard penetrating. Good D by Vanderbilt. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Oh, yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. First personal foul. First team foul. There's the three. Shot is good by Reeves. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. I'll take a look at it. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Good chance here for Kumpo. Perfect. Right between the eyes on that one. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Russell against Lillard. James, right side. And James throws it down. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. Now here's Lillard. The 
doesn't go that time. Some solid defense from Russell. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense given the situation. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Timeout. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Doc Rivers as he talked with the team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Now here's Lillard. Pass to Crowder. And now they decide to foul intentionally. D'Angelo Russell, second personal foul. First team foul. Now here's Middleton. Portis outside. Just four to shoot. The three. Here's Lillard. Oh, Lillard laces in a three. Yeah, it feels like Portis was communicating before he even set that one up. That's a great look. Davis with a screen on Portis. And James puts up a deep three. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Lillard with the ball. Middleton with a screen on Russell. Kicks it out to Middleton. Lillard outside. To the inside. Puts the move on. And Middleton with the layup. And now a 10-point Milwaukee lead. Well, Chris Middleton feeling it right now, and he's putting his refined offensive skill set to very good use. Here's James. Oh, and the jam by James. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. Crowder with a screen. Now here's Lillard. He's guarded closely to the wing on the left. Here's Anadokounmpo. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. It's so hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. Time running out for the Lakers. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. And there's James from the arc. James from distance. Easy work. And we know LeBron has continued to work on his shot throughout his career. You gotta honor that three ball. Here's out to Kumpo. And up to Kumpo with the stuff. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Here's Russell. And there's the drive. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. Good penetration for D'Lo right there. Real nimble on the inside. Finds an angle. Lada de Kumpo outside. Pass to Crowder. It's Middleton on the wing. Down low. Here's Lada de Kumpo. And Giannis throws it down. Got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. I love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Lillard up top, guarded by Russell. Portis, the pass to Crowder. And here's Lillard. Crowder, a screen on Russell. Back to Crowder. Let's the three fly. And another three for Milwaukee. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. That huge motivation, always great for a young team. But veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. You're gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong. All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.
The countdown is on from Milwaukee. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Two. A sports. And another exciting edition of NBA basketball. And you know, Clark, you look at these teams, the depth of their bench is a big part of what they do. Kevin, you know, it's so important to have that kind of depth. I mean, it helps you through the length of that 82-game grind of a season. Successful teams, in my opinion, always have weapons coming off the bench. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Tyrese Maxey out there with heel. Then there's Hicks. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's Embiid in at the center filling out the middle. Middleton outside. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Middleton so good under pressure. He's always composed and under control. Healed against Beasley. Passes it to Maxi. To the paint. He had stolen by to Takumbo. There's Portis. And it's at the Kumbo picking up the assist. It's not all about him out there. Giannis, a real example of a team first guy. Maxi kicks to Harris. Giannis onto the Kumbo, grabs the miss. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. And when you talk about Giannis's defense, he, he really has some unique attributes. Boy, does he ever, Greg. I mean, you think about his length, his athleticism, his agility. He's a guy who can defend the ball and the screener almost at the same time because of that great length. So offenses sometimes go away from him in the pick and roll, which allows him to kind of play free safety on that back line as a rim protector. And stolen by Portis. Covington against Beasley. Pass to Portis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Portis has got six. You know, Beasley not trying to do too much or get too cute there. Just um, finding the open man in a simple fashion. Well done. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. The 76ers off to a slow start. Nothing yet up on the scoreboard for them. Covington dishes to Embiid. Axie on the wing. 
Knocks down the three ball. You got to get out on that if you're the defender. Maxi is very capable from beyond the arc. Middleton, a screen on Maxi. Here's Lillard. That's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not bad. And, no. and so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, not first sure what foul. that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Oh! Yes, sir! Freak takes flight. I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdowns. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Well, Clark, even with all their roster movement, all the player moves they've made, the 76ers have managed to have sustained success. You know what, Kevin? I agree. Their roster has gone through a lot of changes recently with key players being moved, which makes it even harder to sustain success. But they found a way to keep winning. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their play. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the puck. Inside, deflects the pass. Here's Covington. And the dunk by Covington. You know, for a 6'9 forward, Covington really handles the ball well. I mean, you can trust him with the rock. Lillard scanning the floor. Giannis kicks to Beasley. Launches it. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And Philadelphia calls time here. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Well, Kevin, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, but the playoffs require adjustments and that chess match is where they hope to improve 102 left here in the opening quarter Covington a screen on Giannis and Bede no good that is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game a shot by out of the Kumbo nobody around it's stolen by heel Here's the three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. This is a key make for Heal, showing the ability to shoot it off the bounce. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. They lead by four. And the turnover again by Milwaukee. Philadelphia's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Heald finds Maxi, and that one drops. Maxi's got his second bucket of the night. Good decision making by Heald, giving it up when somebody else was freer and in better position. Shot and game clock separated by five. Portis sets the pick for Lillard. Outside Portis to the middle. That Jakubo can't get it to go. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Pass to Embiid. Over onto Jakubo. And they're unable to get the time basket there. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Milwaukee on top, leading by just two. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Bucks. And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. You know, points off turnovers is something else they've excelled in. I expect the opponent at least to try to squeeze that orange a little better. A big men on the floor for him. Giannis and Portis. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the one spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. 
and then Lillard slams it in. Well, the ability to knife inside and convert Lillard is fearless when it comes to attacking the basket. And Clark, when we talk about the best three-point shooters in the league, Buddy Hield is in that conversation. Most definitely. I mean, only Steph has more seasons with 250 or more threes made. That says a lot right there. Buddy is a floor spacer. You can never help or double off of him, which is a big asset in today's game. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got four rebounds now tonight. Harris kicks to Maxi. Puts up a three, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. That's easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And the basket by Lillard. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Beasley with the steal. Lillard against Maxi. Here is Lillard. He's got seven. Six on the shot clock. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Lillard with the rebound. And fought hard to make his way to the rim, but give the deep credit. He did just enough to force him to flank out. And Philadelphia calls time here. Timeout for the 76ers. Beasley against Teal. And Beasley, here we go. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Well, Clark, I have to say, it seems like the college game has seen a little bit of a shift in recent years. You cover it. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the game, much like the pro game, has become a little more perimeter-centric. The three-point shot has been a huge part of the game's evolution. And so you see more teams playing to space the floor and take advantage of the three-point shot. Not nearly as much back-to-the-basket post-play. So I do think the game has changed. And not necessarily good or bad. I think it's just different. Trains the three-pointer. Developing the catch-and-shoot jumper. Giannis has done a nice job with that. Covington is screen on beast. Kicks it out to Maxi. And he makes good on the way. Maxie's got seven points for the quarter. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Lillard finds Beasley. Portis a screen on heel. Shot clock at six. Over in the corner, onto the Kumbo. Losing his time is Giannis. Showing his versatility yet again. His dribble moves are virtually unguardable. Absolute heartbreak, Clark, for the Bucks last year in the postseason. You're right, Kevin. It was a shocker to see the Bucks go down in the first round as the one seed. And Miami really handled them, too. Knocked them out of there in five games. The Heat played with a lot of energy, got contributions from a lot of different players, and key defensive stops with a balanced attack. Did Milwaukee in? Here is outside. Keeps it alive, and Embiid is right there. Embiid's got the game tied up here for the 76ers. Embiid knows how to bully his way into position for the putback. Lillard on top. He's covered by Max. Fires the three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. There's the pick. Maxi into the lane. Covington in the corner. Another three Robert for Philadelphia. Three. And we don't see Covington shoot from the corner a lot. But he looks confident bombing it from there. 
We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And that one's good. Lillard. Lillard's got 10 points now just in this quarter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye open. Covington in the corner. Harris passes to Maxi. Back to Harris. Outside, Maxi. It's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Milwaukee. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Join. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. through this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far you have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard no problems fighting his way to the rim in this one a lot of points in close yeah you know what guys they gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half I think they've got to be a lot tougher on it body him up be physical with him. taking a look at the 76ers DeAnthony Melton out there with Lowry and there's Mohamed Bamba then there's Kelly Oubre First and it's Batum in a power forward. Here's Oubre. Lowry has the open look. And the 76ers tack on two more. And those reflexes never let Lowry down. He, he was primed for that shot. It's Beverly on the wing. Now recovering. Lopez, no luck. Philadelphia has gone to three-point range seven times tonight. Knocked down five of them. Oubre finds Bamba. Bamba setting the pick for Melton. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Bamba's got the lead up to two now for the 76ers. Boy, Bamba really a dogged rebounder despite his slight frame. He's got great length and timing and his intensity is really impressive. Timeout called the Bucks. Get loud and let him hear it. Milwaukee's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. The kick out to Crowder. Alinari outside. And Lopez has it in the corner. Back to Gallinari. Shoots over Batum. And there's Gallinari on the assist by Lopez. Gallinari's got it all tied up now for the Bucks. Lowry passes to Uber. On the wing, Melton. Launches a three. Up again. It's good on the putback. Hey, you can't forget about the long arms of Batum. I mean, I want to see him be more active on the offensive glass because he's capable. Green with a screen on Lowry. And it's Beverly missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. There's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bone. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Oubre kicks to Batum. Beverly against Lowry. Melton sets a screen for Lowry. Count it. And now a 4.76ers lead. And just so crafty around the hoop. Lowry, probably six feet at best, but man, he can slip inside and score with the best of them. To the inside, Crowder, the kick out to Lopez. 
Lopez, a screen on Lowry. Chalk up two there. Beverly's got his first basket. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Nobody near Milton. That falls nicely that Milton. time from Kyle Lowry. Right, right. And the 76ers lead by five. Ball, time time out called the box. Who wants a t-shirt? Make some noise! A new lineup here for the box. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Middleton with a screen for Lillard. And then Lillard sees it in. A remarkable score. Lillard's shoot first mindset is what helps him own games like this. Down low. And B, no good. Bucks trail by three. Inside. There's Portis. And Portis throws it down. Just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Here's Maxi. Some solid defense from Lillard. The Bucs have gone 4-6 from the field since the start of the third. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. <laughs> How about pointless? It's a foul there. I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Over in the corner, on the Kumbo. Middleton outside. Outside Portis. Six to shoot. Here's Beasley, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Hey, give Beasley all the credit there. I mean, when he got hit, he was not satisfied with just free throw. Milwaukee shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. And that just has to improve, guys. I mean, the free throw shooting... It's something that has to get better. You're immediately putting yourself at a disadvantage. When you shoot that poorly from the line. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. And so, on to Kumbo looking over it. Middleton against Harris. Middleton, the pass to Portis. On to Takumbo. That's a two-pointer. That one misses. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the 76ers. It's a one-point game. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's on to Takumbo. Giannis with the Giannis. Oh. Oh. Could have been called a foul, but Giannis stayed locked in and focused. Now, here's Maxi. 12 points for him. Harris setting the pick for Maxi. Out to Harris. And the wide open. No good with the wing jumper. Well, the defense got lucky there with him missing. But they don't want to chance that again. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Bucks lead by one. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up. Tasty room service down right there. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. The big men on the floor for him. Giannis and Portis. And it's Lillard in at the one. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Maxi against Lillard. Left side out of the Kumbo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. No one covered. And the Bucks lead by one. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. 
heel gets to Harris. And it's off from three-point range. Milwaukee's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Lillard dishes to Giannis. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got four assists in the game. Harris a screen on Lillard. Maxi finds Harris. Maxi against Lillard. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut to just one on the basket from Maxi. Tyrese Maxi, a really talented and explosive scorer. He can fill it up in a hurry. Middleton, a screen on Maxi. Kicks it down to Middleton. Portis sets the pick for Middleton. Here he goes. And Covington sends it back. No, sir, not today. Don't come in here. Covington not having it. Maxi with it. Picked up by Portis. Portis. And now we've got the intentional foul. Now a timeout Guard called by Milwaukee. Milwaukee timeout. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, during the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. Now he reminded us, team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. He's done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking it. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, David. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Takes it down to Middleton. Giannis right side. Cool. Nothing but me. Giannis has got the game tied up here for the Bucks. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. And you know, Embiid is a guy who consistently brings energy on this end of the floor. And an intentional First foul right there. First personal foul. Second team foul. Bucks on defense. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Covington kicks to Maxi. Harris setting the pick for Maxi. Checking in at about 200 pounds. Folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Post game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. And this is the time now where the taking two shots. The original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine indeed and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays you really the ruling on the floor is confirmed. and how fast the action really is and the and how hard it can be bad. sometimes you know great to, to make the right call and so the word is in they decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor and you know even if Coach still feels this much for the right call. You got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. And the Bucks making a change here. Crowder's checked in. The quick footed creative Max is so much fun to watch. He plays with such boundless energy, and he's still got room to grow. Getting it done at the moment as he usually does, and that could be huge in a tight game like this one. Middleton against Heald, kicks it to Covington. Knocks it loose. And now they decide to foul intention. Robert Covington, second personal foul. Second team foul. Maxi against Lillard. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. From deep, Giannis. Good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got assist number five here tonight. And Bede with a screen on Crowder. Heel 
The pass to Maxi. Now Embiid. Back to Maxi. Five to shoot, and he commits the intention. some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Tyrese Maxey with a big-time play down the stretch. Middleton with a screen for Hill. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Brian is right from deep, and it's Giannis missing. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. They lead by one. Embiid throws it down. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. You know, feeling very comfortable taking a big shot when his team needs it. That's a, that's a sign of how Antetokounmpo has matured recently. Oh, he is just so clutch, saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. And it's the Bucks ball. Crowder is screen on Maxi. Outside Crowder. It's out of the combo on the wing. It's in! And he has brought them to within two points. And the attitude of Antetokounmpo, really impressive. Really what you want to see in your team's best player. He's a guy that doesn't back down when the game gets tight and things are on the line. In the first of two, no good. Heartbreak taking two shots. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a three-point lead. A chance for Heal to improve his team's situation. He seems cool and ready to deliver. Giannis sets a screen for Lillard. Buries the triple. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. This is what he's known for. When it's an important possession, Lillard knows how to come through. And regulation now complete. We will go to open. We get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Maxi with it. They've got NB. Maxi out there with heel. Then it's Robert Covington and it's Harris in at the three slot. Maxi finds NB. Six on the shot clock. The bucket's good. He'll have a chance for one more. It goes on Chris Middleton. Embiid is unstoppable. Just too strong for the defense. The no matter the what they throw at him. Timeout call for Bucks. One shot. Fans here, Cavier, four one four through. constant evolution of MB's game. Really impressive. A credit to his work ethic. He continues to get better, becoming a bigger threat with his improved arsenal. Lillard outside. Portis a screen on Maxi. Lillard against Maxi. Let's it go from deep. Lillard misses. The 76ers leading by three. Heald kicks to Embiid. Harris outside. Two minutes Back to Embiid for the three. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Outside, out of the Kimbo. 
beyond the arc. From range, Giannis takes it. Well, if Giannis is knocking down threes defensively, nothing you can do. Heel the pass to Covington. Heel sets the pick for Covington. Yeah, the defender oh, off. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Second team. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. A pretty dependable free throw shooter. Covington in a pressure situation. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Milwaukee's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. And it's Lillard missing. The 76ers lead. The pass to Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. That's a big time bucket Three. from Harris. I mean, so cool, confident, and composed in these big moments. He's made for it. Middleton, a screen on Maxi. From deep, Giannis. And MB pulls it down. The 76ers leading by three. Healed from outside. Off to Kumbo, pulls it in. Middleton with a screen for Lillard. If the drive, the kick out to Otto Kumbo. Off target with his three. And they are in the driver's seat. Yes, they are. If they come away with points on this trip, Katie bar the door. And B, the pass to heel. Back to B. That one off the back iron and out. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Middleton, a screen on heel. Lillard attacking. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Somebody really lit the fuse for Damian Lillard. You guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Wow. So they foul intentionally. Yeah, no way that should have taken so long. They don't have that much time to waste. They need to foul immediately. Right on the first, and that will put them up by two. Oh, for two. A very solid free throw shooter. Maxi can certainly get it done here. And so both free throws are good, and it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Middleton with a screen for Lillard. Misses the three. Healed outside. Buries the long-range jumper. So Philadelphia wins it, and they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him.